get to work. So I was out on a job yesterday, my Bostitch Brad Nailer took a crap on me once again. The, uh, the little pin. Stop it. The little pin won't retract. The little driver rod won't retract. Now I've already taken this part and replaced the seals in it. It has a seven year warranty and I did find a receipt but wouldn't you know that the receipts fade out over time and I didn't make a hard copy of it. So the receipt does me no good. I believe they make those receipts just for that reason. So when you buy a tool, always make a uh, an actual copy of it because they fade out and disappear, and then it's no good. But we're gonna tear this apart and see what the hell's wrong with it. I did have to go buy another one. So I could complete my job. And you know that didn't make me very happy. Yeah, see, broke the seal again. Looks like my rod's bent here. It's just a little cheap aluminum piston. And it's galled as hell right there. And there. And this seal wore out, split, and it's just not good, but you can see see how it's all caddy kawampist. So yeah. if you can see in there, there's little retaining pins and that one broke. got caught where it sits down in here very bottom you can see that's galled in there so this is just ruined now what caused that huh. well it was going to be a repair video, but that one's just, I mean, unless I just go buy a bunch of parts, which I'm not going to do. It's just junk. This should be an aluminum housing. Which means I'm going to take all the plastic off and throw it in my little melting pot or my little scrap bin. So, yeah, it's 
a little disappointing. Jump. Crappy video. See, and I already had to replace that seal once. It's supposed to be oilless. Now, with oilless, I always drop a few, a few dabs in there anyway, because water's always bad. But, what can you do? All right. Have a good day.